So regardless of where we find ourselves, what season of life, old, big, small, little, tall, short, we all have the same four purposes. Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Melody and I make faith-based content here on YouTube. I post new videos every single Monday and Thursday. So if that is something you're interested in, definitely be sure to subscribe. I would love to have you join the fam. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about purpose. And I actually have a different perspective on this topic to share with you guys. So when it comes to those big life questions, like what is my purpose? And what is God's purpose for my life? When we're trying to answer these questions, it can one, be very daunting, but also very overwhelming. And then when we feel like we don't have the answer to these questions, it can leave us feeling stagnant. Or when we make decisions or make moves, we also can be very uncertain and questioning, am I doing what's in alignment with my purpose? But in today's video, I hope to be able to give you a different lens to look at your purpose through. I am currently going through a sermon series at my church on purpose. I also am having really, really great conversations with the girls in my membership club on purpose. And of course, in my quiet time with the Lord, he's been dropping me little gems here and there. So I'm really excited to dive on into this with you. And without further ado, let's just jump on in. So first and foremost, we are going to start with the facts the facts about our purpose. So first and foremost, as humans made in the image of God, we all have the same exact purpose. And our purpose is for different things. So let's talk about it. Number one, our purpose is to glorify God. Number two, it's to enjoy God. Number three, it's to know Jesus. And number four, it is to make him known so regardless of where we find ourselves what season of life old big small little tall short we all have the same four purposes now this is where i think we kind of get confused because we often interchange the word purpose with calling or assignment now when it comes to our calling or assignment, this is going to be specific to us, our giftings and our talents. So the Lord has gifted each of us individually. I'll put the Bible verse here that references it. I feel like it's in Ephesians, but I can't remember, but I'll put that up here. But the Lord has gifted us. So regardless, it says in the Bible, we all have been gifted. So whether you know you're gifting or not, you have been gifted. And now according to the giftings and the talents that God has given us, our calling is going to be in alignment with that. But our purpose does not change. So let's even look at my life. When I was single, my purpose still was to glorify God, to know Jesus and to make him known and to enjoy God. But what that looked like in my single season looks different than what it looks like in my married season that I'm in right now. And it looks different from married season to what it looks like in the season of motherhood. But my purpose has not changed. My calling is shifting, my calling is evolving, and the way that I glorify God might look different. The way that I know Jesus might look different. The way that I make Jesus known might look different, but the purpose is still the same. And so this fact like blew my mind guys, okay? Because I was one of the people interchanging purpose and calling, but our purpose, again, all of us have the same purpose, but what it looks like is going to be different depending on our callings. So let's say we have a painter. They are going to paint for the glory of God. And then let's say we have a corporate strategist. They are going to do corporate strategy for the glory of God. They are both glorifying God according to the ways that they have been gifted. So I feel like this is the first really important fact that we have to know and hold on to in our hearts as we ask ourselves this question, what is my purpose? What is God's purpose for my life? We're talking about purpose here, not calling. So on this point, I want to leave you guys with this analogy that is literally perfection. And it comes from my best friend, Candace. She was doing a live Q and A with my membership club girls that created for this membership club. We do live Q and A's every single month. And she was gracing the club with her presence, giving us some wisdom and knowledge on how to navigate that in between season. And as she was answering a question on purpose, she dropped this analogy. And I promise you, 
I have not been the same since. <laughs> the girlies and I in the club, we have all been talking about it. We just can't get over how perfect it is. So I'm gonna share it with you guys here. So this analogy was used to answer the question whether our purpose changes. And Candace said, no, our purpose doesn't change. And I agree. She then went in to share that just like a toaster's function doesn't change, depending on whether it's toasting a bagel, toasting a piece of bread, or toasting a Pop-Tart, it's still toasting. So the assignment is changing. It's toasting a bagel here, that's that assignment. It's toasting a, a strudel here, that's that assignment. It's toasting a Pop-Tart there, that's that assignment. But the function, the purpose of the toaster, it doesn't change. A toaster is a toaster is a toaster today and it will be a toaster tomorrow. And that goes for us as well. So again, it's just driving home the point and really giving you that visual, that purpose, it doesn't change. What it looks like day to day, what it looks like year to year, what it looks like month to month might be different. But our purpose, our function as humans made in the image of God, it does not change. Now, the next thing I wanna to talk to you guys is about how to walk in that purpose, but I think I wanna save it for the next video. So you guys, let me know down below if you wanna do part two of this purpose series video thing I have going on. If you guys can tell, I'm really fired up about this and I feel very excited. So let me know down below if you wanna continue on this conversation on purpose, but I'm just gonna leave you guys with that today. Yeah, I know this was short and sweet, but like I mentioned, if you wanna continue on this conversation on purpose be sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below and now of course it is your turn so I would love to know in the comments how has God gifted you like I mentioned our callings are influenced by our giftings so let us know in the comments I would love to see how uniquely God has made all of us all right well that's gonna be it for me I'll see you in my next video peace Thank you.